Hey everybody, it's Scrap Lady and my cute little friend who works sometimes and doesn't work sometimes. Where's your yeah. mom? There. Isn't she cute? You pat her on the back. <laughs> my little kitty friend. I like this kind of kitty. All right, so. Aw, all right. Say bye, kitty. No, kitty doesn't want to say bye. Oh, well. I think kitty needs new batteries. Hey, everybody. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> it's Scrap Lady here. This is a D-stash, but I'm, um, <coughs> my goodness. But I'm going to show you um, the stuff that I am selling in the D-stash, what I actually kind of made. I didn't finish it yet, but this is what... Um, you can make with what I am going to have in my D stash. So I made a little mini al mini album out of these um, little um, envelopes here. They're really nice, sturdy envelopes. Okay, um, so I made the cover out of um, you know just some thin chipboard. Um, and this I got from Joann's. It's like window cling, but I just glued it on. Um, and then I have the border punch outs here and the boo on here. And I did um, washi tape and then this, this kind of fabric that I had. So I, I haven't nearly finished it, but these are some stickers, and then these are the pages, they're pocket pages. And I made this hidden hinge, but I didn't like do it totally the hidden hinge way, but I I didn't do the cover the, w the way they do the whole cover thing. I just kind of slapped it together. So I covered the pages. <coughs> this is the Tim Holtz paper. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, made little pockets like this. Like I said, I'm not nearly done. I got set back because I... I've, as you know, I was in the hospital for a couple days. And then this, too, is a little, um, you know, you could put something in here. And then, you know, you get, everyone has a pocket. Um, and then I put these little corners. Um, so, love this paper. It's so cool. Okay. And then I did the bats on the. So, some other things that I plan on using to finish it. I made these rosettes with... Um, cupcake liners and I got that from um, YouTube and I can't think of her name but I'll put the link below she has some awesome awesome videos so you just put something in the back actually I put the back of the cupcake liner cut the middle out and put that in there um, on the back to hold it together and this one has a skull and crossbones which I cut, cut out with a punch so I'm planning on adding these to my, this is just a bat I cut out from the fabric that I use, um, and then a little piece of ribbon. And these are some of the ribbons that I'm going to be using to complete it, um, which is, and this is all stuff, you're, stuff most of this stuff you're going to be getting, and I'm going to show you what, exactly what you're going to get. And then this ribbon, I just want you to see the stuff, um, because I've kind of packed it up. So, um... Those are the things that I used for the album, and you can make the album any way you want. But what you will be getting is the envelopes. You're going to be getting six of these envelopes, and just you know cover them with paper. That's what I did. Um, so you get six of those. Two, two, four, five, six of these, and then you're going to get the paper, of course, the Tim Holtz um, materialized paper very cute brand new um, I bought two of these because I just loved 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 them and what I did was used one of each sheet so I have one sheet left of, of each design and they're double sided these are cool for cutouts I'm going to use some of those in the book too um, I kept all my scraps and the scraps are really good to use for borders and things like that so literally you can use one of each sheet and still have one of each sheet left for something different. Um, if you you know save your scraps and you use black paper also. Um, so there we go. So there are um, 24 sheets. So I used 12 and I still have 12 left. So you get that. 
Then you're going to get this cute Tim Holtz stamp set, which I didn't use. Um, I have another stamp set that I used on mine, that I'm going to use on mine. But this is the stamp set that you'll get. The Tim Holtz. Um, called... I don't know. Halloween Mini Blueprints. So you're going to get that. Then what I did was I cut out with my punches some of the borders and I'm gonna they're gonna be like in here so that they're gonna stay really nice and flat. So what I did, I taped them with washi tape to some boards. So you're gonna get this is um, 11 inches of the boo and you can just pull the washi tape off and it'll be fine. Then I cut out a whole bunch of these window things and you can cut them to whatever size. So there's five of those. And then I cut out the same thing, 11 inches of the fence border and of the um, bat border. Okay, and then like I said, it's going to go in between. So it's going to be nice and sandwiched so they're not going to get wrinkled. You're also going to get some of the fabric that I had used for the binding. You can do whatever you want with it. So you're going to get a piece of like this. It's about 12 inches, I believe, 12 by 12. And I, you know, like I said, I even cut out the bat to use it for something. So you can do whatever you want with that. It's kind of neat. And then um, you're going to get this really awesome punch. Uh, I realized I had two of these. I actually might have had three of them, but I think I sold one. But this is the uh, Martha Stewart um, Double Edged Punch Spider Web. So you're going to get this, and I didn't punch any of these out because you're going to get the punch. And then I have a whole bag of goodies here. So, these are the skulls and crossbones that I cut out, that I punched out. These are the um, corner spider webs, and then the extra little butterfly, uh, butterflies, bats that came out of the bat border punch. Um, I just threw them in there because you can use them. See, they're little... You can use them for confetti or something. Um, but you're going to get the, some of these corners, spiderweb corners. Okay. So that's in this bag. Then you're going to get three different, the three ribbons I showed you. And I gave you two feet, 24 inches of each one. Um, and I just put them on with washi tape so they would stay on. I just put you can even use these cart these tags too. So you're gonna get these three, um, and like I said, there's about 24 inches on each one. I'll stick those in there. Then you're gonna get nine different washi tapes, and I don't know how much is on here. I wrapped it around about 11, 12 times, something like that. I just kept wrapping and wrapping. So you get the gold, the Halloween, the boo. Okay. So that's three, and then you get the bats, the pumpkin, and the bird, the raven. And then you also get the potions, the spider webs, and the stripe. So you get nine of those. And like I said, I wrapped them around this card about 10, 12 times, something like that. And then you're going to get... Um, Cupcake liners, the white spider web, the black spider web, and the bats. And I think I put about five of each in there. And then you're also going to get, I just cut out a couple more border things. This is the um, spider web. I did one corner. And then the, the, it's the spiderweb corner punch, the two punches that you can, you know, punch around and make uh, like this. So I did one of these. And then I just put in a couple spare things that I had that I cut out that didn't come out exactly right. So I just cut them down. So they have, they do have a corner and the thing. So they're just little extras that you can use to decorate or whatever. Um, and then you're also going to get, so there's quite a few things in here that are really cool. Everything basically, for the, except for the black paper and you know whatever you want to use to make the cover and the binding and stuff, 
but um, you pretty much get everything you need to make a fun little album here. And stick that in there. And then you're going to get these, which are all different. So you're going to get a couple of each one. The candy corn, the funky spider, and on the back it's glittery. And the candy corn is glittery on the back. You're going to get the bat, oops, glittery on one side, and plain on the other side. You're going to get the skull, glittery and plain. And an another bat, another spider. You're going to get the white skull. So I put two of each in here. All right. So those will be fun to play with, whatever you want to do with them. So that's what you're getting. Did I show you the paper? No, I did not show you the paper. Where is my paper? Where did my paper go? Oops, I lost my paper. Sorry. So this is the deal with the, I should have done this first, but I was showing you my album. This is lot number six. It's $35 shipped. Please email me at scraplady530 at gmail.com if you're interested. PayPal only, USA only. Pay through PayPal friends and family. If you need to be invoiced, I'll be happy to do that. It's an additional $2, so it would be $37. Um, and if you could pay within two hours of confirmation, if there's an issue with that, please, please let me know. Um, and of course, thank you so much. Thank you for that, everyone who's been purchasing my other D-stashes. And stay tuned because I'm going to do a virtual garage sale, just like Carla from Carla's Crafty Corner did. Her and I are our best buds. She's not able to do it. So I'm going to take advantage right now and do that. Um, so that's going to be this week. Monday, hopefully, maybe Tuesday. If not Monday, maybe Tuesday, definitely. I'm going to try for Monday, but I can't guarantee. Um, and all the rules and everything, I will go over that. I will do another video with all that information. So be on the lookout for the virtual garage sale. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.